What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Light Source Engraving. I'm your host, Patrick. As usual, if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping in. Today, we're going to be unboxing the drop down kit for the Lasermatic XW version. And I'm unveiling a new unboxing knife today. This unboxing knife. will end up being in the hands of one of my patrons soon enough. I'm gonna do a giveaway and you can get this unboxing knife that has this cool hexagon pattern on it in three different shades. Then on the back side, I have my logo. There we go. Couldn't find the sweet spot for the camera to focus. All right, so let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. We'll go to the laser uh, rolly automation website and take a look at this drop down kit there will be a link in the description below it's an affiliate link so if you go to buy anything from rolly automation please use that link it helps benefit the channel i appreciate it so enough of that here is the rolly automation homepage, and if we scroll down we'll see the lasermatic mark ii accessories and what we're looking for is the drop down extension so this is the mod for the Mark II, and I have the XW, so I need the extension mod for the Lasermatic Mark II XW. Now, how they can make these and ship them for $139, I do not know, but it is a very good deal. So you can see from this picture, it drops down the center of the XW so that you have more clearance for your rotary. Here you can see them going a tumbler there as it sits lower. And the nice thing about it, it has the indexing pins for the rotary. So you don't have to worry about trying to make that rotary line up and square. And here you can see how it attaches and drops down and maintains the seal. So let's open it up and take a look and get it installed. Now, since we are talking about rolling automation, if you guys didn't see it, premiered the Galvomatic and the Galvomatic specs and features on the live stream on Sunday night. On my channel is a replay of this live stream. And in that replay, we talk about the raffle. In the comment section, not comment, in the description of the Galvomatic live stream, you will see the link to enter the raffle for the all new 40 watt Galvomatic. And this raffle entries will run until March 27th. And March 27th, we will have the debut of the Galvomatic. So stay tuned. Be sure your notifications are on so you don't miss that live stream because we will also be giving away one Galvomatic to somebody who is watching the live stream. Must be present to win. So you have to be in the live stream to win it. So we'll be giving away two on March 27th. So that's enough of that. All right, I do have a new unboxing knife, soon to be owned by one of my patrons. I'll get that link up for you guys to enter soon. And I can already tell just by this box that it's the typical Rolly Automation packaging. It means it's very well packaged, very neat. All right, and there we are. Nice full color instruction sheet. Installation steps, attach the four extensions to raise the machine. Remove the current center bottom panel, 10 M3 by six flathead screws securing the center to the bottom. Same screws are used to attach new drop down extension. Rotary dowel pins should be towards the front. Move the four screws securing the upright plates of the truck rotary. Attach the extension bracket and reattach the rotary head with the installation complete. Machine should now be able to engrave large tumblers and handles while re remaining completely enclosed. That is awesome. See how it raises the rotary up from the plate. To avoid tumbler handles hitting the edge of the newly installed bottom panel, the locating dowel pins and position of the rotary as a result are moved towards the back by 20 millimeter. Pre-save position light burn has to be updated to reflect this. So it tells you exactly what to set your new positions to and how to save them. And here's what I'm saying, folks. I don't know how they can make and sell these for that price. These are solid blocks of aluminum. That's, that's solid. Can you hear that? Solid. Get the two extensions to raise the rotary up. A short extension cable for the stepper motor, wrenches and screws, and there we have it. Nice drop down, which is all 
machined aluminum and it's very nice very well put together now although these aluminum blocks are very nice and heavy and substantial i don't know if i can switch these out for my velociraptor feet that are right here i think i'm going to leave the velociraptor feet and then just install the drop down portion so let's just install the drop down portion now. Okay, I did take the liberty of removing the screws ahead of time. So I did take those out. And those were just the screws that hold this center plate in place. So now that those are out, we can lift the center plate up. Now we can install our drop down, slide it underneath. It does fit between my Velociraptor feet. And you'll see, this is the way you don't want it installed. Just want to point out these pins are supposed to be towards the front now we have our pins toward the front we can begin removing these flathead screws from the outside and that will release these plates and then our extension slide up here and replace these plates and i'm going to break all these loose with this wrench all right we have the bottom in place the screws are out and we are ready to attach so since i'm not using these feet what i'm going to do see if I can wedge one on each side and use those to hold the drop down in place and they are actually holding it right where it needs to. okay it's wedged in place using those feet now all I have to do is put the screws back in All right, and there we have it. The drop down is in place. Get you another view there. And it works with my Velociraptor feet, so I'm very happy about that. There you get a view of my Velociraptor feet and the drop down installed. Now, the next step is to install the risers on the rotary that will allow us to do larger items. All right, now we have our original rotary, our two risers, we have two pieces of stepper motor cable. What comes with the drop down kit is this extension cable. So we just want to plug it in here like this. Then that gives us our added length to be able to reach the rotary's new position. So you got to use the short end in there because these take a little bit of force to break loose. So here's our owner's manual showing us to install the risers right here. And put the original four screws on the owner's manual. I don't think there's any difference. Those appear to be shorter because so the new screws are shorter. All right now the rotary comes right off of there. And we just have to attach four of the new screws. I didn't have my glasses on. The threaded end will go towards the bottom and the non-threaded bottom of the rotary so it's flipped around and then the non-threaded goes up against the chuck bracket this is the non-threaded this is the threaded now I'll use the non-ball end of the wrench to torque it down just a little bit now let's move on to this one again we want the non-threaded side here Like them down with the non ball end again. Remember, this is steel into aluminum, so don't over tighten. Keep these from flopping around by tightening these 
thumb screws up. Now the rotary sits like this with the extension so you can do, you can see the amount of height gained. You can do much larger tumblers and other items. Now let's say you didn't want this much height. I know Jeremy is working on some spacers that you can use to raise this up uh, just like in millimeter increments. So if you wanted to raise up five millimeters, just enough to give you clearance for a larger tumbler, that's gonna be available soon. And I certainly don't wanna fasten it down this way. It actually goes like this with the Rolly logo up. That way your rotary stays in line with your riser. Notice how I was looking at it. There, you get the general idea and that's uh, how you install that bracket. Just put the, or those risers. Just put the four screws on and it is good to go. All right, now let's grab this instruction sheet and take it back over to the desktop and we'll get Lightburn set up. Now we're back in Lightburn. Have my Lasermatic XW selected. And what we need to do is go to our save positions. So we go to the move tab and then save positions, roller rotary one, see that? We just wanna to go to manage. And then here's our chuck rotary. What we want to do is for the Y, change that by 20 millimeters. So it is 134. That's all we have to do and then hit okay. So now when we go to chuck rotary, 70, 134. And that's it. That's all we have to do in light burn. All right, let's drop the rotary in place on the pins. Sorry, this is hard to do from... All right, rotary is locked in place. Let's go ahead and turn on the laser matic. So before we turn it on, Let's make sure that we have enough clearance. And there, we do have enough clearance. Now it's going to home. Now what we can do is go to that move tab, select the chuck rotor position and hit go. And right there it is, lined up perfectly center with the new chuck rotary position. And just like that, we have installed our drop down, adjusted light burn, and added the risers to our rotary. All right, let me show you that again from a different camera angle. So the first thing I'm gonna do, let's say we got knocked out of place and we didn't use our macro for our stepper motors. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So now we want to home it. And then we hit chuck rotary in our move tab and go. And you can see it line up exactly center of this chuck rotary. And there you have it, folks. That's all it took to install this drop down on the Lasermatic XW. It's $129.99. Link is in the description for the Roly automation website. Just scroll down until you see accessories and then you'll be able to pick one up for yourself. The pricing with shipping included is unbelievable for that amount of aluminum and just the exactness and precise fit of everything is really simple the hardest thing is removing all the screws and then putting them back in just because it's time and time consuming it's not difficult at all it just takes up a little time to unscrew all those little screws and put them back in place and that is all i have for you for today thank you channel members and thank you patrons for making this possible it was with your kindness and generosity that I was able to purchase that drop down and get that installed. It was not given to me by Rolly Automation. I did buy it. So I was happy to do a review on it because it is such a nice piece of kit. Enough of that, video's over. Most importantly, everyone, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. I'm <laughs> sorry.